Hey, this is Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions and thanks for your suggestion. Today we're going to talk about Kobayashi hooks. They are long ones, they are short ones, you can use any ones you want. They come in different sizes. My favorite usually is 012 or 014, find out which one works for you. The different diameters or gauges of the wire help it adapt or not adapt um, or hold up a rubber band a little bit more. I usually like the long ones instead of the short ones, that just works for me. The short ones for me are tricky. Uh, because for me, they tend to break brackets, but you know, everyone's different. So I get a long one, I go ahead and tie the patient in first, I wanna put it on once for the rubber band and I don't wanna deal with it again. So that's how I do it, okay? So everyone's tied in nicely. This is a long one, this is an O12. First thing I do is I go ahead and, this is too long. If I try to put it on like this, it's gonna poke the patient's eye out, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and trim it. So you wanna get a nice sharp pair of lid cutters or pin cutters or whatever you guys like to call them to trim it. Trim it good, about halfway down. Okay, this is, of course I said get a nice sharp one. This is not a nice sharp one. <laughs> but in any case, then what I do is I curve it. That's just me, comfort curve, so I don't poke the patient's lip. For a top arch, I'm gonna put it on like this. For a bottom arch, I'm gonna put it on like this, okay, towards the gingiva, so you can hook an elastic. You can put Kobayashi hooks on any bracket that needs a hook. So sometimes they come with hooks, sometimes they don't, depends on how you order them. So let's go ahead and, for example, let's put it on, um, okay, this lower central right here, okay? So I curved it, just like I said. Patient's open. I'm gonna go ahead, slide it on, okay? I give it a good tug, good, good tug right here, okay? And center your hook the way you want it, okay? If you want it on the distal, you want it on the 